routine. This is just kind of my updated makeup routine. I'm using new products, doing a little bit of a different look than I used to do. So I thought I would update you guys and show you how I've been doing my makeup. And I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Marissa on my Instagram for requesting this video. You are awesome. If you guys don't follow me on my social media, you definitely should. I always have it linked in the description box below, but it's all just at Cicely Boone besides my Snapchat. I think that's different. But they're, again, they're always in the description box below and they're on the screen. So if you don't follow me, you totally should because that way you can stay updated. And if you're new here and wondering who the heck I am, my name is Cicely and you should totally hit that subscribe button so you guys won't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this little laid back tutorial and let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to be doing is putting on this flash mask. I think that's one of those. Yeah, the flash mask from Patchology. This isn't sponsored. I just wanted to do one of these before I did my makeup since they're only supposed to be like five minutes and they're supposed to be really quick and like something you can do before your makeup. So I'm going to be doing this. It's a hydrating one. So wet. <laughs> that's what she said. I'm literally 12. Ew, I literally hate the way these feel, but they work so good. Just leave this on for five minutes and then take it off and we'll start my makeup. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and it says you can just take it off and then you don't have to rinse it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It feels so gross. I literally hate the way that these masks feel on your face. Like any kind of sheet mask, not just these ones. But they do work so much nicer and there's no mess, which I really freaking like. Okay, so now I'm going to be starting on my makeup. So my foundation that I'm using, and I literally talk about this in so many of my videos, and for years I've been using it, is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, which you can buy at Target or Rite Aid. Sometimes they don't have it at my Target, though, so definitely check out like Rite Aid and Walgreens because they always seem to have it, and that's where I get mine. I have the shade 105, which is the lightest shade because I'm really pale right now. Um, which is classic ivory and I'm taking this round top kabuki that I got off of Amazon I'll try to link everything down below so you guys can go get it literally I've had this for like six years and it was like four dollars I need to get a new one because it's a little bit rickety now But it's been such a great brush and it applies your foundation so well. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face I usually work in like sections and this foundation tends to dry a little fast. It's not too bad but I just kind of like will work in sections on my face so I'll do like my whole cheek and then I'll just Stipple that in. Okay, and I ran out of concealer a little while ago, and I just haven't picked another one up, so I've been kind of using this just to conceal as well. It's like a medium coverage formula, so I feel like it conceals pretty nicely. Okay, so now I'm taking the Brightening Powder from Besame Cosmetics. This is their Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder, and I'm going to set under my eyes so that it's nice and bright. And it comes with a little fluff that I use to kind of like set and sort of like bake my face a little bit. And I love that it has this like little flip cap to keep it nice and clean and secure, especially when I'm traveling. This is so nice. So I'm just taking some of that on that little fluff, and then I'm going to set under my eyes. brush it was like a morphe brush but it accidentally broke so I'm just using the top just to kind of sweep away the excess powder and then I'm taking my remote stay matte powder in translucent and I'm just going to set the rest of my face Face Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is just like a little sample that I have got and I have another one which makes me so excited but this one isn't even like close to being run out yet but it's such a good bronzer. And I think this is the perfect color because it's not too dramatic. I'm just going to lightly contour my face because I don't want to look too like crazy and made up for the daytime and it's just simple and fast and something to kind of warm up my complexion because I feel like the foundation and stuff can kind of wash me out a little bit. MAC 
blush in Gleeful. I've been obsessed with this blush. It's such a good blush and it's been my go-to lately, so I'm just gonna pop this on my cheek. And it looks like a really dark color, but honestly, when you put it on, it's not as dark as it looks in here. It's just so pretty and glowy. my Lorac Pro 3 palette to fill in my eyebrows, specifically the color Cool Taupe right there because I feel like it just matches my eyebrows really well, especially since I went blonder, if you guys can't tell. My hair is a lot blonder, so it's kind of been difficult for me to like make my eyebrows not look too dark since I've had dark hair for so long, but this color really looks pretty good and I don't have any other brow products right now, so it's been working for me really nicely. brow gel from the brow gal. I love this stuff and I'm just going to set my eyebrows. Next to prime my eyes, I'm taking the Mica Beauty Eye Primer. I literally have used this for so long that all the writing rubbed off, but it's such a good eye primer, so I'm just going to be applying that all over my lids. Just this really nice skin colored primer that really creates a nice blank canvas for your eyeshadow and I think really helps the colors stand out a lot more. palette again I've been using this so much for my eyeshadow pretty much every single day for the last few months it's a little wrecked as you can see because I literally have been using it so much but yeah I'm going to be taking the color light gold which is this one right here and applying that all over my lids I've really been going for kind of a more just like natural look I don't know I've just been kind of into that lately and kind of like just bright and glowy especially for the springtime I think it's such a great time to do that and like after wearing all the dark colors in the winter and the fall, I just feel like I need like some brightness in my life. <laughs> now I'm taking a blending brush in that color Cool Taupe again and I'm just going to apply that into my crease as my blending color. Now I'm just taking this fluffy brush right here and I'm just going to blend it out. So now I'm taking this palette again and I'm going in with the dark brown color just on the outer corner just to deepen it up just a tiny bit but still I'm going for kind of a lighter look. Then I'm just taking that first blending brush that I used to kind of blend it out and make the colors blend seamlessly together. And then I always go back in and touch up my lid color so I'm going again with that light gold color and just applying that on my lids. white color in the palette and I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm taking my NYC liquid liner in black. I literally love this eyeliner. I've had it forever and I just keep rebuying it because it's $3 at the drugstore and it's the best black eyeliner I've ever used. Sometimes I do wings and sometimes I don't, but today I'm filling the wings, so we're going to wing it out. Okay. 
Okay, so I always go ahead and do my lips while my eyeliner is drying before I put on mascara so that I don't mess it up. So I want to show you guys my lip combo that I've been doing a lot lately and a lot of people comment on all of my recent videos because I've been wearing the exact same lip color and I've been wondering what it is. So it is these two products right here. I just use the Glam Glow Matte Plumper under everything because it's awesome. And then I'm taking the Make It Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 103 and it's such a great everyday nude and you guys like it stays on all day and is so pretty. So the first thing I do is apply the lip plumper and just twist up like that and then you take it out and it has a weird wand but it works really good. So I just put that on my lips and I really love this because it's like matte so it dries on your lips and it's not like a lip gloss. And it has like kind of a white tint so it kind of like helps with the color of any lipstick or lip product that you put on which I like as well. Now I'm taking the Make It Forever liquid lipstick and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Noir But it's so awesome. I really really love this. I really love the plastic brushes over any of the brushes and I think this works so great And then lastly for my highlight I'm using the Artist Couture Highlighter in Illuminati which is such a pretty gold color and I think it's perfect for every day. My sister also loves this. I gave it to her for Christmas and she just wears it all the time. So it's a great highlighter. And then I also always just take a little bit of the highlighter and I like to put it right under my brow bone because I feel like it just kind of illuminates it a little bit. And then I also go ahead and always put a little bit in the inner corner as well. Again, if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Marissa, again for requesting this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.